And essentially what we're trying to do is prototype the holodeck or maybe that future where everybody is wearing those lightweight glasses. Uh, so I'm not really interested in what most people think of as virtual reality. I'm, I'm trying to understand the future of this physical reality when we all can see whatever we want in our everyday lives. Yeah, I mean the hard idea of the hollow deck is to have a synthetic environment that seems real. The, I guess the thing that I'm personally interested in getting humanity into uh, a virtual space, whatever that kind of looks like, and so we're interested in getting whether or not you feel like uh, I'm empathetically, emotionally valid as, a, as an avatar, and also, you know, what would we have to do to get further? Because I think that humanity is the thing that we really need to focus on, would you agree? Well, I mean, what else is there? I don't know, unless, you know, I mean, I guess the welfare of animals. Well, no, mean, just um, but in the sense that a lot of people have been doing early sort of 360 VR as video, it was kind of like travelogues, experiential stuff, which is great, but I feel like interaction is a, is a dimension that's vital, and that interaction you want with people. Well, I mean, I think people can do whatever they want. If people want to make sand paintings, I'm not going to stop them. I think that's sure. lovely. Sure. But personally, the only thing I'm interested in is um, what happens between people. I mean, uh, we've always lived in virtual reality. I mean, people talk to each other. I say the word elephant. Um, an elephant shows up in your brain. That's a kind of virtual reality. It's, built, it's baked into our DNA to be thinking about things that don't exist and then talking to each other about them. I think all we're doing